Hello everyone, my name is Yu Wenne. Um, I lecture at the University of Sofa in Greater Manchester in the UK. I was trying to be a sociologist and I have a long-term research interest in understanding the socio-technical dynamics in open source software communities and hacker culture. So over the past uh, decade, I've been interviewing and participating in community events, trying to understand the community dynamics basically. So I've taken a lot from the community, um, free and open source software communities, in order to progress with my academic career. But in terms of OpenStreetMap, as well as some of our open source projects, I would like to consider myself as a contributor as well. So my contribution, um, well, I'm a casual mapper, I created like POIs, and uh, when I go to visit my parents in Taiwan, I try to help them to build up the open trademark communities there, so I organize some mapping parties. So if you go to the open trademark wiki page, you can see the mapping parties in Taiwan, and then I was heavily involved in the translation as well. And uh, today, I was especially glad to introduce two projects, and then the first project is a project I and my colleague Nick Block will we secure some internal funding from the University of Sofa to look into the business models and the community engagement strategies for Maximundo, which is a location-based media platform and is based on OpenStreetMap. So the developers actually take the OpenStreetMap and some a, a mix of open source software as well as proprietary software to build this multimedia platform allowing people to upload the multimedia files and so it functions a bit like the Facebook as well as um, Flickr if you want so on this platform you could create your own specialized um, not just adding POI, but you could create your own channel and then you can share the information on the channel with the people you like. So it's a bit, it functions a bit like a Google group. So for instance, we've been trying to engage two communities in Manchester at the moment. One is called Manchester Modernist Group. And this group, they are especially interested in modernist buildings such as 20th century buildings. So you can see those buildings are um, presented and then located on on the map and then so you can subscribe to their channels and then you could do um, you could share the information. We've also tried to engage with the open data group as well. At the moment there's nothing and um, basically we try to kind of um, put some data from the data GM which is the archives of all the open data from the Great Manchester consoles and over there. And so this platform allow people to personalize some of the multimedia things. Yeah. So, and then we also have an idea about, you know, a, a little bit location-based retailing. So this will provide a very, kind of, it's a proof of concept of what the people can take in the open street map to do, to build some services. Although it's, it's always not an open source project, but it does kind of utilize various components. And the other project I would like to introduce is not based on open street map, but then they would heavily, heavily benefit from the contribution from the, uh, the mapper here, which is called Suki. Um, the Suki project, I came across to it um, last week actually, when I went to Oxford, the Oswatch there organized a contest aware mobile technologies workshop. And it's uh, basically a platform allow the demonstrators and protest protesters to keep themselves informed and mobile when the police try to cattle them. You know, when you do the demonstration and the police will try to circle you and try to cram you so that you couldn't brace and then you are so tired, they eventually just collapse and you couldn't do any damage anymore. But using, um, at the moment they are using Google Maps, so they use a crowdsource report, um, tweets and SMS as well as you can create, um, you can upload things directly to the map and then you could actually tell each other which road has been blocked by the police and which road is still open so the protesters can find their way out and safely go home after a peaceful demonstration. At the moment, Sam and Matthew, and they are based in, in London Hat Space, and then they would very much like to switch their service to OpenStreetMap, but they have very limited manpower. So if any developers here, they would like to help them so you can Go to Wilsuki's website and try to help them. Okay, thank you very much.